Is it true we're back on YouTube? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an exciting episode of This Is Our Life. In my eyeball. We gave out little treat bags to the kiddos, and some of them had these little eyeballs. All of them, we tried to put candy in all of them. There were a few that didn't have candy because we ate it. But, um, these are little, pl here, these right here, I bet there's some kids in, who went to school that got in trouble because of stuff like this. Little fake mustaches, um, did we give those vampire teeth out also? Yeah. Vampire teeth, oh yeah, vampire teeth with the, with the blood. Had a packet, it's candy. not, yeah, candy blood. So, we got this computer over here. And for the life of us, we can't get it hooked up to the internet. So, oh well. We went to the thrift store. And it plays music. It's not Winnie the Pooh, but kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh. It is pink, but oh well. A play mat. A wipe warmer. Has a cord in it and it has instruction manual and everything. Ultimate wipes warmer. The only antimicrobial wipe warmer. How about that? So, we also got a little space heater, and guess what? This little boy over here, he likes the space heater. He lays in front of it. No matter which direction it's pointing, he will get right in front of it. He doesn't get close, to, I mean, you know, he always stays at least that far away from it for some reason. I guess it's too hot if he gets that. It's not hot, but I guess it, you know, to him it's more comfortable. It's not that comfortable being right, right on it. I don't know. But, um, I tried to order ammo this month, but the order didn't go through, so because of that, we saved some money. Next month is Christmas! So, I already have Carolyn's Christmas list on Amazon, and I went from it being in... Carolyn's Christmas list, wish list, to the cart. So it's in the cart now. Um, I can't think of anything else, can you? We uh, didn't win the lottery! Yay! Of course not. So, took this computer and we even have a monitor Carolyn hooked it up over next to her and the monitor worked fine I hooked it up over here and that monitor was not working too good and I don't know if maybe there's something um, inside the tower that you know that's missing that like it can't connect to the modem because there's something not in there even though whoever had it before us was able to hook up to the internet. But they could have taken something out, something could be damaged, something could not be... I think they took something out because two slots open on the back of the computer. So. Yeah. Uh. So, and the speakers, we can't get those speakers to work. But, oh well, that's okay. I wish they had left it alone. Mm. Um, we sent an uh, invitation to 
100 nights, shelter, um, and keen, we're inviting four to five people to come to Thanksgiving dinner. Um, we did some grocery shopping. Because we had that money that the order that didn't go through to um, Classic Arms, because of that we had some money. And we got some stuff. We finally found Masa. What is that 25 pound bag of flour? Yes. A 25 pound bag of flour because I guess last month it was we went and we looked to buy flour and the only flour we could find were these little like itty bitty bags. That doesn't last long. Plus we bought once you know like a pound or two bags. What is it? Five pound bag? or Four or five. Four or five pound bag of um, instant rice or something like that. That's for a particular recipe. I don't know if I've made that recipe for Carolyn or not. I used to make it for myself in Texas. We, we sort of have an idea of what we're going to make for Thanksgiving. I mean, it's, it would be kind of, it would, wouldn't really be right to turn around and say, oh, no, you can't come after all. Thing is, if anybody can help us with getting people a ride here and back, we deeply appreciate it because we need to save gas. Um, and we both have to go into town a couple of times this month. And um, you know, we have a list of recipes. There's make ahead mashed potatoes, like something like that. Smothered green beans, which you can make with cane green beans. Um, the turkey, we don't have that yet. We're going to get that. What day do we go over there for that? Uh, later this month. Later this month we go get our turkey. Yeah, and we'll, we'll see then what they have in the box for us. Um, I've been wanting to do this since the fire that first Thanksgiving after the fire was really, really hard. And um, I went to the Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner in San Antonio. And boy, oh boy, I mean, it took everything for me not just to start bawling. And then HEB has, I think it's called the HEB feast of sharing and it was the same way was that was that I mean and then the next year I wanted to you know have people over but I wasn't able to because I had to pay rent full rent I had to pay my electric bill which was a lot more than it is here um, my internet and phone bill I had to buy my own food I didn't get food stamps I could have gotten food stamps, but I'd have got ten bucks. So I'm like, you know, I just didn't have any way of doing it. So I couldn't invite anybody over. I wanted to for Thanksgiving and for Christmas, but I couldn't afford it. And Carolyn wore those boots the, uh, yesterday. They're basically snow boots, winter boots. Um, a little big, she said. But, you know, you would, like, wear extra socks in the winter. So once we get around to it being that cold. But just wearing regular socks. They're a little loose, you would say? Yes. A little loose. Um, well, what I used to do is, like, wear them when I was going to work and then switch into a pair of regular shoes when I got to work. Oh, that's a good idea. If you heard that, I hope you heard that. That's a good idea. <sighs> Hasn't snowed yet, but they said... Um, Expect flakes today, but nothing yet. Yeah, it's just cold. Yeah. And uh, like I said, Lucky loves this little heater right here. Oh, well, we got a um, foot. What do you call that foot heater? Comfy toes. Comfy toes. It's a little like an electric blanket, but you just put it at the foot of the bed. Who do you think slept on top of it last night? Yeah, it's just for the foot of the bed, not the whole body. Yeah, but it warms. I felt, I felt 
I don't know about yeah. Yeah. Because the heat stays under the you know under the blanket, so it was yeah, it felt good. But little boy over here, he slept on top of it all night, on top of everything. He won't. He doesn't like getting under the covers. So I don't know why. A friend of ours, they have a Shih Tzu, and some dogs do, some dogs don't. You know, Lassie, she loved getting under the covers. She was a dachshund, a dachshund named Lassie. Um, but um, our friends and Keen, their Shih Tzu passed away. He would have been 15, I think, 14 or 15, this Thanksgiving. Sorry, very sorry. And another friend of ours, her kitty, passed away yesterday. Yeah, he was a good kitty. Uh, she took him everywhere, either riding in the car or in a stroller, like we take lucky places in the stroller. Sorry. Anyway, so I guess that's all there is right now. I just wanted to show off my baby stuff. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.